Welcome to NerdStalker. I am Adolfo Fronda at NerdStalker on Twitter, NerdStalker.com, NerdStalker TV on YouTube, and all the places. Okay, today's should be a quick one. We're going to review the Hypersphere Mini. So, just to give you some context of size, these are uh, Apple AirPods. Yeah. So, there you go. There's like a rubber exterior on this guy. It's a rechargeable lithium ion ba battery. So, there's a little flap here on this guy. This is the charging port. It charges by a uh, micro mini USB. <laughs> there you can see that. And uh, yeah, it's a very solid uh, ball. I typically use a lacrosse ball and I really like this thing. So I hold it down for three seconds. One, two, three, and the lights come on. And so this button kind of does everything. This little button right here in the middle. And you press it once for a light vibrate, twice, and you can see the blue lights for a uh, medium vibrate and then three blue lights come on for your uh, maximum vibrate and then the fourth one is off and you can leave it like this and it will turn itself off eventually is what I've noticed or you could hold it down for three seconds again one two three and it's off and it comes with this little stand this little donut plastic stand thing, and then you can put that wherever. Rechargeable lithium ion battery, 2400 megahertz or amps, whatever. And the low frequency is 42 hertz, the medium frequency is 52 hertz, and the high frequency is 62 hertz for you uh, nerds out there. It's uh, 0.75 pounds, so three quarters of a pound. Uh, there's one year warranty on this thing. It uh, It's pricey. You know, I'll give you that. You can look on Amazon for competitors that are a fraction of the cost. I believe this one currently is uh, $100, $99. But I really, really like it. I mean, I, I will say this is kind of a best in class kind of kind of a massaging type of device. It feels very uh, durable, this this kind of rubber exterior. One of the sort of caveats here is you can trigger this thing, this little button, like if you're leaning on it and it will turn itself off. Now what it's not great for, I've noticed, is using against walls uh, unless you have some sort of buffering thing like a towel or whatever to rub against uh, between you and the wall. Otherwise you get this really loud vibration throughout your home or, or gym or wherever you are. Uh, so it's really nice when it's used on the floor or even between you and a cushion, a couch, while sitting on your bed, whatever. I know it sounds like it'd be really soft, but actually, you know, the amount of it could be just right depending on where you're sort of working in. Obviously, I like my my Theragun type of you know massager uh, better for the tops of tops of my legs and and things uh, certain areas. But you can kind of rub it yourself or you know on your forearms or whatever. I've had um, held this around my knees before on a low setting just so I can work certain areas and it gives some relief. Um, but ideally, this is probably for like something like the hamstrings when you're kind of sitting on it, your glutes, your calves, if you can work that, and your back. Man, this thing's really great for the back. It's kind of tough on the shoulders because you have to kind of hold it down and then you get the vibration on your hand and such. But it's it's a really nice device. So check it out. Hypersphere Mini. You can go to hyperice.com for more information on this guy. And uh, TSA approved. Who knew? TSA approved. And they have a number of other uh, products. They have a larger version of this called the Hyper Hypersphere Green. Uh, they have a foam roller uh, version of this. It's a vibrating foam roller, essentially for two hundred bucks, one ninety nine, called the Viper Two Point All right. So that is your review of the Hypersphere Mini by Hyperice. Check it out. Thanks for watching NerdStalker.com and NerdStalker TV on YouTube. And thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you, everyone.